What I did here is I showed you G and A tuning. The great thing about tuning is, you know when you play a bar chord, and you move it up the neck like that's a major chord, this is if it's down in the first frets of F, third frets of G, you know, and so on, with an E chord shape over your finger. Tunings work the same way, because the great thing about guitar is it's a pattern-based instrument. The difference is, and I'm not going to leave you guys in detuning, because I'm going to go, I just want to you to look at this. If you look at these two patterns, everything simply moves down one string towards the floor. So everything you play in D and G tuning, everything I teach you, or D and A tuning, or D and E tuning, will work exactly. The patterns, well, the shapes that you just played, will work in G and A tuning too, and then you have the keys of G or the key of A. So now we've done four tunings of the same shape. So you can see visually, the reason I did this is visually, it just moves over a string. Okay? All these same shapes, you see, just move the string towards the floor. Pretty cool. That's four tunings. Plus, you can play chords on the banjo or any other exotic instrument. Tabaquino, for example, is tuned to little tuning. Other instruments that you may run across that are tuned that are tuned to an open tuning. And this is important that you guys get this, because I don't know if you guys all got this last year. This is another enormous concept. Because what this will do is completely open up a lot of other instruments and a lot of tunings to you. It totally demystifies it. So what I did is I gave you the major key of the tuning. In the Chop Shop book, it shows you all the notes on the tuning, so that you can have to just go ahead and build licks or whatever you want to, or how to play off the chords in that key. The main thing that, to me, is why I love open tunings, is because when I was a boy, I used to love to play the piano with a sustain pedal down, and listen to the kind of natural reverb and, and uh, how it kind of, you know, the overtones. Open tuning gives me that same harp-like effect. You hear it when it was playing at once, it's just got a beautiful drum, right? It's very pleasing. It sounds great. So basically what I did is I show you how all this works. So everything drops one string towards the floor in G and A tuning. Now, there's another tuning we can do too, so we can get five tunings for the price of one. You don't have to relearn your guitar. You just get to know the chords. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a whole bunch of stuff in D tuning, but just remember, it just moves one string down in G or A tuning and two strings down in C tuning. So I'm going to show you C tuning now, but it's going to be the same thing. What I'll do is I'll just show you C tuning. Instead of writing it off, C tuning is this. Yeah. All strings. So C tuning is simply 6 is down to C, 5 is down to G, 4 is down to C, then G stays the same, the uh, second string is up to C, and then E stays the same. And everything goes over two strings. Instead of writing out the whole neck just to show you the same exact thing I'm going to show you here, you know, it's just this, and C tuning, you take all these shapes and move them over another string. That's five tunings without having to relearn your guitar. Now I can start to show you all this stuff you can do in D tuning, but remember that you can do it in all five tunings. Then I want to show you Dad Dad, which is another really cool thing. And the stuff you can do with that, because Dad Dad's a lot of fun. Everyone clear on that? Okay, so you guys can go ahead and mess around with this. Go ahead and screw down the tuning. I'm going to turn the page. Hopefully, you got the shapes. And, and uh, what I've got, I need to turn the page in order to do it. Try to find notes because these are all notes of this. Nothing you can do if you can't remember these shapes and didn't write them down, which hopefully you did, but they'll also be on the video and they're in my book by my book. So, now I'm getting all like, what happened to the nice high school? Anyway, so, but one of the things that's fun to do with this one is just to play these notes and let all the notes ring, ring open. In other words, just play on the third string, move it up and down, and you'll have this giant almost, you can play all these same strings, but play all six strings. Here. Okay, so we have this. 
Now the first thing I have on here are things that work. The first one tends for working on all five tunings. And this is the thing you've always heard in songs like Black Star. But the great thing when you play those in the tuning, you just play random open strings and it sounds like you know what you're doing. Watch. And of course this one sounds like a PBS gardening show. Watch. Today, we'll learn to plant chrysanthemums. First we must make the soil bed ready. See what I mean? Okay, the next. Okay. 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 So, anyway, try those. You're playing the fifth. You're playing the. silence. So, you're playing. So, we have. So, the, the tense, what you're going to do is play them together, but then add open strings. Or you can just trouble. Get some songs out of this joint you watch. 